All right, guys, what is up? This is Kevin back again. We are doing the lazy wash on the Scion. It's too, too damn hot to get outside and wash this thing. Now, I rather wash it like at the um, at the self serve where you can get, you know, under it, over it, all that good stuff. But this right here is like 10 bucks and it's like really quick. You don't have to get out of your car. And I still got to go to work tonight, so I'm kind of in a rush. Uh, so hopefully it comes out pretty good on the, on the outside and we'll get back to you in just a Well, as you can see here, uh, it actually came out really good. Well, not great, but it came out pretty good. Good enough to take pictures and all that. Now, if I would have done it uh, self-serve, I could have got like the rocker panels a little bit better, uh, probably the tires and the hubcaps and all that, but it came out relatively decent. It's not bad. Definitely not a bad looking little car. Now, this thing is bare bones basic, and I'll get to that here in a few minutes, but uh, yeah, paint's pretty good. It's got a little bit of chipping up here on the top. As you can see here, it's got a little bit of clear coat uh, peeling. But other than that, the rest of the paint is in great shape. So, uh, yeah, let me finish up. I got to get the interior clean real quick. All right, guys, we are back and the car is clean. Um, there is some things going on with the seats. Of course, when you have fabric seats or uh, seats or cloth seats uh, you get stains in them they're kind of hard to get out now I do have some stuff at the house I'm gonna spray on them let it sit for about an hour maybe rub it in a little bit and then uh, wet back it off hopefully that'll get out all the um, the stains that it does have but it's not horrible uh, the rest of the car came through came out pretty good now I did did misquote myself when on the first video when I was telling you guys how much this car is worth now I've seen them anywhere from $6,000 is probably the cheapest that you're going to get one running up to about $12,000 but those are coming from dealerships with like 90,000 miles. Now because this one's not in perfect shape and it has a lot of miles on it, it's not going to go for twelve grand, of course, you know. Uh, but considering $800 that I spent on it, uh, I say nine in total just because $800 spent on it. Um, you know the gas money plus the money to clean it plus the mount mount was only like 22 dollars, so that was super easy the car runs and draws perfect the ac works all the all the electric stuff works on it so i'll just have to figure it out from there i have been driving the car uh today it's been constantly running for about an hour and a half now i do that just to make sure there is no kind of uh, overheating issues and because i had to boost it off I haven't cut the car off because I wanted to see if there was a check engine light. There's no check engine light. Nothing is wrong with this car at this point. Absolutely nothing. So let me give you a quick walk around before we get going. Now I did hear you guys saying, okay, I want, why don't you make a video of how you buy the cars and I'm going to do that the next video. When I get rid of this one and I go to look at more cars, I'm going to record that and I'm going to give you little, little details about what I look for and what's good to look for when you're gonna get a car with the intentions of reselling it and not keeping it for yourself so let me show you the car so you can see the interior this is what I was talking about stains like this right here like little stains like that it's nothing like horrible or anything like that the interior came out pretty good um, I mean somebody took relatively good care of this car uh, the paint came out Decent. Now there are spots on it that are not going to be Shade the back here. I'm not going to be able to buff out like this spot right here I'm not going to be able to buff that out. It's got another over here I'm not going to be able to buff that out But I am going to be able to straighten this out when I get back and get that right, but this is not going to buff, buff out of course Engine is perfect like no complaints with the engine no ticks no knocks no anything with the engine so can't beat it cannot beat it so i'm really trying to figure out what i want to put this up for uh, i was contemplating actually keeping it <clears throat> but if you focus on the small stuff, you always, always overlook the big stuff. So, comparative to, uh, you know, what's coming up, this is 
this is the small stuff, so I'm working up to the big stuff now. Open the back door here for you. Let's see. So I'm going to spray down the back seats and the front seats and let them sit, like I said. Oh, and then I'll kind of go from there, but yeah, that's it. I mean, I'm sure I could post it. I've already got the pictures. I'm sure I could post this thing up and sell it today, but I'm about an hour away from having to go to work. So, um, I'll probably post it up and just tell people to come see it tomorrow. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, the next video, I'll take you guys with me to uh, look at some cars to buy. Try to help you out if I can. Now, I do have the guy, if you remember a couple videos ago, that was wanting me to work on his Eclipse. He's been texting me for the past week that he's got all the money up. And I just have not had time to go pick the car up to get working on it. But I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to touch base right now when I get done doing this and uh, see when I can't get it done. And make a video because a lot of people were scared of the valve cover on the, on the V6 Eclipse 3000 GTs, stuff like that, the V6. A lot of people are scared of messing with the valve cover on the back side because you have to take the intake, intake manifold off of it. But it's really not that much work, so I can walk you guys through that. Maybe get some pretty good content, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Go. I will talk to you later.